Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in this week. I am the Mighty Plantain, and I'm back with another beer review. While we're at it, hit me up below there with a like and a share, and if you subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I post a new review. Hopefully you find them useful and um, a little bit more informative when you're making beer choices. Tonight, we've got a blonde ale from Waterfront Brewing Company, Portland, Maine. I know I've been doing a lot of the Maine breweries lately, and I've got to get out of that rut, I think, because um, uh, I'm not getting a lot of new subscribers in state, so I better go further afield. That's right, the detention for the whole reason I'm doing this is so you'll subscribe, like, and share, and get my face out there all over YouTube. All right, so. That's the self-aggrandizing portion of the show. Let's get to the beer. It's got a very nice golden hue to it. A little bit of amber in there, but mostly a very nice yellow blonde that you'd expect from, well, a blonde ale, obviously. Pretty effervescent. Got some nice bubbles coming up out of there. Not much out of the aroma. Slight bit of hobby bitterness, a little bit of maltiness, nothing specific in the malt or hop characteristic, just some, some bitterness and uh, maltiness. Maybe some toasty notes in the aroma, maybe. Goes down nice and easy. It's got a bit of a medium mouth feel. Mouth feel, that's right. I guess a fill there. And the hoppy bitterness and the uh, the general maltiness, and they're just kind of blending together. There's no specific notes that are coming out for me in terms of flavor or taste. Overall, I'm going to put this one at a, a 3 out of 5. Bear in mind, 2.5 is an, an average. Because it is a very good beer. It's very nice and, and well blended. It's uh, balanced. There's just nothing that's really standing out for me. Um, it's got a nice medium mouth feel, which makes it heavier than, heavier than your average beer, but... Overall, just kind of a, a hoppiness and a bitterness and a, and a maltiness. There's um, just nothing that's standing out for me, and I hate to do that to a local a local beer. It's um, it's just not impressing me with the overall flavor. Like I said, it's better than average. I, I would drink this over a Bud Light or a Miller Light or even even some of the craft brews out there, um, but it's just really not blowing me away. A little better than average. I can tell some effort went into this because of the, the hop and malt characteristics and the, the overall flavor, but just um, there's nothing really standing out for me. All right, I, I can keep saying the same thing over and over again, but uh, you need to try this for yourself. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below or hit me up in the email link. Until next time, folks.
years.